We do flight crew, FTC. Flight team stand up. All flight, no fear, August is here. I don't want relations, I just want one night. Cause that Thursday bitch, that's that shit that I don't like. Come on, man. Hey, man, we got an educational list video. I know you guys are back in school. I told you guys, man, if I wasn't doing this entertainment ish, bro, I'll be a fly substitute teacher. You guys would know. And for good reasons, bro. We got a little bit of a fun topic today. No quiz, no test. I know, I know, I know. School's back. This row row is here and everything. Everybody in class doesn't even feel like being here. I don't feel like being here. I miss being at home in quarantine all day. But it's all good. I'm not going to be the other teachers. You know what I'm saying? But I do ask if an administrator walks in the classroom, you hide your iPhones, your Androids, your tablets, your iPads, your Nanos, your CD players, your MP3 players. You know what I'm saying? To make my ass and cover my ass look good. No, that, that's not how I wanted to say it. To cover my own ass. Because... I'm not trying to get no damn ass shots or nothing that, that the way I just pronounced that. That just sounded fucking weird as hell. I'm going to edit that out anyway. I was just stretching. Anyway, man. We have 10 crazy one-night stand experiences. Let's check it out. If you don't know what a one-night stand is, that's probably, you know, the reason why you're a virgin. So. As she turned around, she realized that she had had a one-night stand with the father of one of her students. Woo! <laughs> damn! You better pass that boy the rest of the semester, shit. Dash across the house in order to get to her car. Needless to say, dad was surprised fuck? seeing a half-naked girl run across the living room. Are you serious, bro? See, at that point, I ain't gonna see. This is how, it, it depends how, who, who, who I'm going to, bro. But this is for situations just like this, bro. Like, most of the time, like, and this is for all y'all fellas out there, too. Like, if you go over, a, especially if you're going over a girl's house, bro, always make sure you have something on you. You know what I'm saying? If you know what I mean. Like, so that's for situations like that. Because, bro, I don't be having time to be just, like, trapped in the motherfucking closet or in the basement or in, damn, under the bed or something like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? For extended periods of time. You know, I just, bro, I just know, bro. Like, so it's just like, I understand, okay, let it pass by, like, 20 minutes. I got your ass covered. Whatever. Boom. Bro. After that time, bro, I gotta go, bro. I'm not about to sit up here and, like, you know what I'm saying? And if they, you know, have a certain situation, like, you know, just look, man. Because the girl's like, clothes were in the living room. That's just too she much, to bro. Put on, found something wet on her. Thinking it was sweat, she touched it and realized that the guy's tooth had fallen out. What the hell? Nigga, imagine you having sex and your fucking brother's someone's tooth falls out, bro. With a guy she met at a party. While they were doing the deed, what the hell is that? Covered in blood. The guy confessed that he got his man jewels caught in a zipper and yanked it free, causing a massive wound. I, 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 I thought the woman was gonna go on a cycle or something, and she, and, and like the man knocked her into a period. But this nigga talked about, oh, I almost did that one time, zipped up the shit, bro. But why have sex though, bro? If you know that, what the hell?